What's up? In this video, I'm going to show you the best pistol drills for self-defense. I guarantee they will improve your efficiency and speed after just a few reps, so stay tuned. Welcome back, Carlos here with Range 11 Tactical. On this channel, we create content full of useful tips, techniques, and or drills just like this one. So if you wanna build and or expand your tactical knowledge base, hit that subscribe button and notification bell to catch all my latest videos. If you carry a firearm as part of your chosen profession or simply concealed carry as a private citizen, then you understand that one day that firearm may save your life or that of your loved ones. And in order to win that gunfight, there are a few skills that are critical to your survival. I'm going to discuss three basic drills every gunfighter should practice. I'll demo them in order of importance and explain why they're important. So here we go. First and foremost is your ability to draw and fire an effective shot. Statistics indicate that the person that fires that first round on target usually wins the fight. Notice I said on target. It's not the first person to fire a round, but the first person to have an effective hit on target. So the first drill is simply draw and fire one round. So I'm going to demo real quick and show you what it looks like. All right, I'm gonna run the drill on steel, but you can run it on paper, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna do it from about the 10 yard line. I'm doing it from concealment, but a realistic goal, you should definitely start off, your initial goal should be around that 1.5 second, a good effective shot, working your way towards that sub second, right? Once you hit that sub second, then you're doing really good. From concealment, I should be right around a second. If you're doing a tactical belt or a speed belt for competition, you should definitely be hitting that one second range. So let me take a couple shots, I see where my time is right there again from concealment all right that was a 96 right there 96 101 so I'm right in that range that one second range one more time all right that was a little sore 103 still within that one range if I can get a sub second again one last time Ninety-three. So I'm gonna right around that sub-second mark. Like I said, your goal should be to right to be right around under 1.5, working your way towards that sub-second draw, uh, especially on the tactical si uh, side holsters there. All right, next is our ability to fire multiple rounds on target. If we envision that gunfight, we've drawn our pistol, fired an effective shot, and now we need to ensure that that threat is down. It may take several shots, you know, four, five, six shots to eliminate that threat. We always need to be ready to re-engage. So let me share this kind of analogy or story with you, right? Envision bullets are like cows, right? They like being in herds, they don't like being alone. When they were built, you know, at the factory, what did they grouped them all together, then they took them and put them in a box, again, all together, then you brought them home and what? Put them in your magazine all together. They like being together, right? So why would we send that one lonely bullet down range? They don't like that. They like being together, so send multiples, right? So on that premises, let's discuss the drill, right? So the drill is basically a modified build drill. We're gonna go from ready pistol instead of from the draw, and on the command, we're gonna fire five rounds as fast as possible, right? Kind of leading up to we've drawn, fired one shot, threat's still there, then we provide additional reinforcements to ensure the threat is down. Let me demo it, show you what it looks like. Alright, one five three, one five three. One thirty, one thirty. Little slower, one fifty two, right? So I'm right around that 130 to 150 range. Good hat weapons manipulation, driving that gun down for that second shot uh, there. Lastly, it's our ability to reload our pistol fast and effectively, right? If we've drawn our pistol, fired a few rounds, now we're either out of ammo or, we're low, or there's a low in the fight and it's a good idea to reload, right? So we need to be fast. Side note, if you haven't seen my video on the best dry fire reload drill, check that one out because I give you an excellent drill to practice that at home. So let me demo that and I'll talk you through the setup. All right, so the last drill is the one reload one, working on that, manipulating that gun, right? So 
Everybody's probably seen me start with an empty pistol, full magazine, insert the magazine, load one round, then I'm gonna do a mag exchange for an empty magazine. And that's pretty much the setup. Once I go through it, I just pick it up, pick up that empty magazine, reset it again. I'm gonna run this drill from ready pistol, because if we're working that gunfight, right, I've already drawn, fired one round, re-engaged with multiple, and now I'm performing a reload uh, as necessary, right? I'm gonna uh, also do this from concealment. So once I fire, I gotta remove the garment, uh, uh, get access to that magazine, and then perform the reload. So let me run it a couple times, kind of just see where my baseline times are at. All right, that was super slow. 320, so let me set it back up. Got hung up on my garment there, so empty mag. Run it again. All right, a little better, 285. Let me do it one more time. Again, putting that empty magazine back in the pistol. One more time, here we go. And a 261, so 261, that's usually where I'm at, right around that 260, 250 range. Again, one, reload one. All right, those are the drills, right? Draw and fire one round, and then draw and fire, or from ready pistol, fire five rounds, re-engage, and then do a reload. Little bonus tip, right? You can incorporate this all into, you know, once you get your times down to that one second or where you want to be, then you can start incorporating some movement, right? I can press the threat, I can do lateral movement left and right, or I can do the drill all in one. I can, you know, draw and fire one round, then re-engage with five, and then perform a reload for another round, right? So you get creative with this, but make sure you're getting good, consistent hits. So, as you can see, the drills are super, super simple, but I guarantee they will improve your gun handling skills and confidence, right? Try incorporating these into your next range day. Leave me a comment on your times. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, as it truly does help. With that, stay safe and train hard.